in the question number 98 of SSP Odisha 2001 physics paper for lecture six is for a nucleus having mass number a the surface energy contribution to the binding energy is proportional to in order to answer the question we have to consider the beth wegener semi empirical mass formula according to which the binding energy of a nucleus is having five terms among which first is the volume term volume energy surface energy coulombic energy energy due to asymmetry in the number of neutron and proton and pairing energy among which only the volume energy adds to the binding energy and all other are losses to the binding energy according to the formula the binding energy contribution of volume is uh, ab which is the um, proportionality constant and a is the atomic mass number it is the volume contribution minus the surface energy contribution is as this is the constant a to the power 2 by 3 minus ac this is the constant for the coulombic energy j to the power 2 a to the power minus 1 by 3 minus the asymmetric energy contribution is a a this is the constant number of a neutron that is a minus 2 z to the 2 divided by a atomic mass number minus plus or minus the parity pairing energy where delta is equal to ap a to the power minus 3 by 4 for even z and even n number of proton and number of proton neutron to be even is equal to 0 for odd a nuclei is equal to minus ap a to the power minus 3 by 4 for odd z and odd n nuclei so from the formula it is clear that the surface energy term is directly proportional to a to the power 2 by 3 as we know the nuclear radius is directly proportional to a to the power 1 by 3 and the binding energy term due to the surface energy is <coughs> directly proportional to the surface area of the nucleus that is 4 pi r square r is the radius of the nucleus or bs is directly proportional to 4 pi r to the that is um, r not a to the 1 by 3 to the 2 that means v s is some constant 
a to the power 2 by 3. So the answer is option C that is a to the power 2 by 3.